on October 9, 2024, a video surfaced showcasing the unloading of the K2GF main battle tanks, marking a significant step in South Korea's ongoing military modernization efforts. Hyundai Rotem, the South Korean defense manufacturer, has planned to deliver a total of 56 K2GF tanks to the South Korean Army by the end of 2024. This delivery is part of a broader initiative to bolster the nation's armor forces. With 260 K2 tanks slated for deployment by 2025, currently over 200 K2 tanks are already operational and deliveries of advanced variants like the K2GF are set to continue in the coming years. The K2GF is an optimized version of the K2 Black Panther, specifically designed to perform in South Korea's challenging and mountainous terrain. Its cutting-edge features and adaptability ensure that it can operate effectively in various battlefield conditions, strengthening South Korea's ground forces in the face of regional threats. At the heart of the K2GF performance is a 1,500 horsepower MTU883 KA500 diesel engine, which enables it to reach a top speed of 70 km per on road. This engine, combined with an automatic transmission, provides the tank with remarkable agility and speed even in rugged environments. The tank's control hydro-pneumatic suspension system, known as the in-arm suspension unit, allows it to adjust its ground clearance, enhancing stability and maneuverability on uneven terrain. This makes the K2GF especially suited to mountainous warfare, where mobility is crucial. The K2GF's firepower is equally impressive. It is armed with a 120mm smooth bore gun that features an autoloader, allowing it to fire a range of ammunition types, including armor piercing and explosive rounds, with an effective range exceeding 2km. The advanced fire control system is equipped with an infrared sensor and a laser range fighter enabling precise targeting in all visibility conditions. These technologies ensure the K2GF can engage enemy targets with high accuracy, even in difficult battlefield environments. To protect its crew, the K2GF is outfitted with high-strength composite armor and an active protection system that intercepts incoming anti-tank missiles. Additionally, its battlefield management system enhances real-time coordination with other units, improving overall battlefield awareness and operational effectiveness. The K2 Black Panther series, including the K2GF, is part of South Korea's broader strategy to modernize its armor forces. As of 2024, the South Korean military fears a diverse fleet of approximately 2,115 main battle tanks. Among these, 225 K2 Black Panther tanks are already in service, with the K2GF set to increase this number. The deployment of K2 tanks, particularly the K2GF, aligns with South Korea's focus on enhancing its armor capabilities in response to the complex terrain and geopolitical tensions on the Korean Peninsula. With the aging fleet of M48A5 Pan tanks, relics from the 1950s and 1960s, still part of South Korea's tank inventory, the K2GF represents a crucial upgrade in terms of firepower, mobility, and survivability. The K2GF Black Panther is specifically designed to excel in modern warfare scenarios where mobility, protection, and firepower are critical. 
its ability to adapt to mountainous and rugged terrain gives it an edge in defensive operations, particularly in South Korea's northern regions, where swift maneuverability is vital in potential conflicts with North Korea. Furthermore, the k 2 jeps advanced targeting systems and active protection measures make it a formidable asset in asymmetric warfare environments, where tanks are increasingly vulnerable to drones, anti-tank missiles, and other modern threats. Its integration with battlefield management systems allows for real-time data sharing, making it a critical node in network-centric warfare where coordination and speed are paramount. Beyond South Korea, the K2 Black Panther has gained international attention for its advanced capabilities. Poland, for instance, has become a key international partner for Hyundai Rotem, having signed a contract in August 2022 for the delivery of 180 K2 tanks 46 of which have already been delivered by 2024. Poland's interest in the K2 stems from its need to bolster its ammo forces in light of regional tensions and its desire to diversity its defense suppliers. Romania is also reportedly considering acquiring the K2 as part of its own military modernization program. Armenia has recently shown interest as well, driven by security concerns in the region. The K2's cost advantage over comparable Western tanks, such as the German Leopard 2A8, makes it an attractive option for nations seeking advanced capabilities without the premium price tag. The K2GF Black Panther is not only a symbol of South Korea's technological prowess, but also a critical asset in the country's defense strategy. With its advanced features tailored to the unique demands of the Korean Peninsula, it enhances South Korea's military readiness and provides a robust deterrent against potential threats. The tank's growing presence in the international markets, from Poland to potentially Romania and Armenia, underscores its expanding role in modern warfare. As deliveries continue, the K2GF is set to play a pivotal role in shaping the future of ammo combat, both at home and abroad.